June 27, 2015, Saturday of the Twelfth Week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre, as Abraham sat in the entrance of his tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, he saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before them, and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked him, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, There in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent, just behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in years, and Sarah had stopped having her womanly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself and said, Now that I am so withered and my husband is so old, am I still to have sexual pleasure? But the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I really bear a child old as I am? Is anything too marvelous for the Lord to do? At the appointed time, about this time next year, I will return to you, and Sarah will have a son. Because she was afraid, Sarah dissembled, saying, I didn't laugh. But he replied, Yes, you did. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The Lord has remembered his mercy. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. The Lord has remembered his mercy. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Lord has remembered his mercy. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The Lord has remembered his mercy. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Lord has remembered his mercy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes. And to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. 
but the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, You may go, as you have believed, let it be done for you. And at that very hour his servant was healed. Jesus entered the house of Peter and saw his mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand, the fever left her, and she rose and waited on him. When it was evening, they brought him many who were possessed by demons, and he drove out the spirits by a word and cured all the sick to fulfill what had been said by Isaiah the prophet. He took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. The Gospel of the Lord.